Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at Do It Display. This software slash productivity tool allows you to turn any tablet into an external display for your computer. Now, there's a set of features built into Do It Display that really sets it apart, and I wanted to share those with you guys in today's video. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So first off, Do It Display is cross-platform. It supports Windows, Macs, iPads, Android tablets. So it is cross-platform, which is a great advantage. Number two, it also supports remote access. So you don't necessarily have to be in the same place to access your computer from a remote location from your tablet. So that's also a great advantage built into Do It Display aside from allowing you to turn any tablet into an external display. So let me show you how to use Do It Display. Obviously, you need to download the application for your computer, and then you need to download the application for your tablet, log in with your account, and then you can connect your tablet to your computer via USB-C, and it'll automatically sync and adjust, and there you go, as simple as that. Now again, it also works wirelessly, and you have several options here in terms of what you want to do. So if you wanna use as an external display or mirror, exactly what's happening on your computer's display because you can also mirror everything that's happening on your computer directly over on your tablet. But I'm gonna choose the option to extend, to use it as an additional display. You also have some resolution options you can choose from, so you can adjust the resolution for better quality, obviously. You have the frame rate and things like that. So once you're done setting everything up, you can also go into the software of your computer and also set what side you want this display to be placed. So we can go into the computer settings here, we go under display, we can click on arrange, and you see here that I can go ahead and have the main display on the left and the do it display on the right as I have it now, or I can switch it over if I wish to do so, but I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. And now every time I move the cursor over, it'll slide directly over to the tablet, and then I can go bottom here on the bottom of the screen, and then the dock would we'll just swap over to the actual tablet, which is super cool here, and I can start interacting with this operating system directly on my tablet, as you can see right here on this iPad. So I can launch things directly from here, as you can see. There is the Do It Display application. There's barely any lag, so everything is just so seamless, as you can see right here, so quick to response, which I really love. Now I can bring the cursor over, drop it to the bottom, and also bring the dock right right back on to the actual computer itself. Now on the app for the iPad, there's also options where you can swipe from the left here to reveal additional options. You can switch over to mirror. You also have pencil support, so you can use Apple Pencil with your actual tablet here. As you can see right here, barely any latency. So there is Apple Pencil support with a Do It Display, which is a welcome addition, a nice feature to have, and of course, there's also uh, gestures. So with gesture support, you have things like left click, which is tap with one finger. You also have right click, long press with one finger. You have a double click, that is double tap with one finger. You have the drag, with his one finger drag across the screen, obviously. You also have the two finger pinch for zoom, which is typical and the same way you do it on any mobile device. And of course, you also have scrolling, which is also available. Scrolling would be with two fingers directly on the screen and you can scroll through web pages and things of that nature. So really cool gesture support. For example, you can actually use the touchscreen on your tablet to interact with elements. So if I bring this image here, I can actually use it to scroll through the website just like so with two fingers. Obviously, I can select items just like so. So everything works as intended. So yeah, touch support and pencil support, definitely two great options available with Do It Display. And of course, there's also other options like Show Button, which allows you to have a direct button on the screen to invoke that menu as well. And you have a Help Button here available. Now on your Mac, you can also select the option to choose the actual bar. So at the bottom here, you'll get a bar where you can go ahead and control certain aspects where you can go from mirror to extended display and you can hide that bar. You also have the ability to use Siri you can also put the volume up and down and the brightness and you get all these controls at the bottom of the screen if you add that additional option 
for iPad and touch bar directly within your MacBook. So that's also a welcome addition added here into the actual software for Duet Display. Now, as I mentioned, Duet Display also supports wireless, so you can unplug your tablet from your computer and it should automatically recognize that it's going wireless and it will switch over in real time. And you can access your computer from a remote location anywhere across the world. So you can be in a hotel room somewhere and you can still have access to all the files on your computer. So as you can see right here, I can go ahead and bring up the dock and start interacting with my actual tablet here. As you can see, everything is fully functional, even with a wireless transmission. You also have the ability to adjust the resolution and frame rate with wireless options as well. So do a display basically offering great options and great set of features really not found elsewhere. So I highly recommend you check it out. If you want to check out do a display, of course, all the links will be available for you guys in the description down below. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to do a display for sponsoring and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.